Hi, I'm Craig and uh, I work in transitioning folks from the hospital and uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic, it's, uh, it's pretty intense right now. It's the beginning of April and uh, we're kind of playing a waiting game. Um, I'm proud to say that we're doing a lot uh, as a health system to be really ready for the surge that we anticipate in uh, a few weeks. Uh, it's, uh, it's an inspiring time though too. I see a lot of people coming together and working together and uh, I just hope that it helps to sh demonstrate to everyone our vulnerability collectively and working on things like ending homelessness and the climate change crisis uh, is a result of, uh, of just seeing how, how much we are dependent on each other. Thanks. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. I work for Yolo County Library, and this is my COVID-19 diary. I just arrived here at our admin building to open up, and it is uh, my job to start answering our phone line, which we've kept open one phone line to help people with online services and keep the website updated, um, technology issues and things like that. I just wanted to show you what the library looks like during this COVID-19 shelter in place. And uh, yeah, it's pretty empty. We have uh, Link Plus Interlibrary Loan Service waiting to go. We have a lot of books and summer reading prizes waiting to go. And I imagine that we will um, get back to things some point in some fashion but right now we're kind of just in a holding pattern and I just feel like um, it is a little isolating it's a lot of unknowns but I feel like we can get through this and um, we're gonna get all these books going again and people are certainly enjoying reading and I can see that we're gonna make it through this together Hi, my name is Lynn Weaver. I live in Davis and I am at home in shelter and place like most. Today is my fifth plus week of confinement. I'll be going out to the country for a brisk walk, listening to my favorite music, great American country music. And later on, I will do a Skype interview for my next article with a French author who lives in Vancouver, Canada. And the article, unfortunately, is due yesterday. On week number one, I remember thinking, everything is going to be just fine. I work quite a lot from home anyway. Internet, Zoom, Skype, FaceTime and WhatsApp all work just fine. I'm going to use the time for creating great things. I checked on my friends and family around the world, researched the virus, and watched some of the latest news. Then I took out my Pilates mat and my weights and practiced planks and abs. What about the garden? Well, it was too rainy and cold out there to do anything. In the evening, I binged on bland family movies that always seem to be ending well. The following weeks have basically dissipated into oblivion, but for one notable exception. 
I distinctly remember how I dislike what I cook. Now, most of all, I spend a good part of my time dreaming. Dreaming of what I will do when this is over. There's nothing like dreaming to focus the mind. It chases away boredom. Good dreams, of course. Actually, bad dreams can be good too. Like when you wake up from a nightmare and you are so relieved when, my goodness, it was just a dream. There you have it. Love and a million virtual hugs to all.